This video is sponsored by Castify. Is this even a fair comparison? In many ways, I think it's quite unfair because of you know how far apart some of the specs are. In other ways, I think there's definitely an argument for picking one over the other. I've had the Galaxy S22 Ultra and the Pixel 6 Pro for a few months now. There are things that I really love about them and certain things that I wish were better. In both, to be fair. But if I was to pick one, which one would it be and, and why? Look, I know the Pixel 7 has just been announced and we have the Pixel 6a to consider too, but I'm putting those options in a separate video for you. Right now, let's have a chat about these two over here. I'm Alex and I do down to earth tech reviews. If that's something you like, welcome to the channel. The S22 Ultra is currently about $1,200 if you don't trade in and if you don't get any discount. It is a beautiful device, right? With a striking design that actually divided some opinion. Personally, I still prefer the look of the S21 Ultra, the Phantom Brown especially. This is probably one of my favorite phones ever. The S22 Ultra, doesn't exactly disappoint from a design perspective. I do like it and I like when companies kind of try to do something a little bit different, unlike Apple. And talking about something a little bit different, the Google Pixel, the Google Pixel 6 Pro has a fantastic design. I've been an Apple user for the longest time. I've got MacBook Pro, I've got iPads, you know, this is in my workflow and I can't get out of it, right? But the Pixel 6 Pro is nothing short of amazing. I think it's quite an underrated device, actually. I just love how it feels in the hand. You know, it's really kind of, I like the weight and this, this visor looking in the camera as well. It really makes it feel very comfortable to hold, very safe as well, even though it's quite slippery. This kind of gives you a bit of support at the back here. I think it's super elegant and it looks amazing in every situation. And depending on the lighting that you've got, it just oozes class for me. When it comes to design, the winner for me is the Pixel 6 Pro. And I would even say that this design is better than the iPhone 13 Pro Max, which I really like too. And Google are not sitting still, right? The Pixel 7 is already been announced and is set to be another cracking device. Now let's divert our attention to the display on these phones. And I'm not gonna be around the bush on this one. When it comes to the display, the S22 Ultra just wins it for me. Samsung are the absolute king of displays, right? I haven't had every single smartphone out there, but I've had the 13 Pro Max recently and I've had the S21 Ultra, so I have a pretty decent idea of what a good display should feel like. And Samsung, wow. It's, it's not just how bright it is, it's just unbelievable when it comes to watching content, right? Especially when you watch HDR content. Indoors, outdoors, it doesn't matter. It crushes through everything. You can totally edit photos using this display, you know, to a decent level of quality as well using something like Adobe Lightroom. And, and you can see here, right, this is just incredible. But the Pixel 6 Pro is no slouch, right? It has a fantastic display too with 120 Hertz refresh rate and the ability to go down to 10 Hertz as well to save battery if it needs to. Yes, it's definitely nowhere near as bright as the S22 Ultra, but come on, this is a beautiful display too. For the price, you're getting a pretty decent package here. You know, as, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I'm doing another video talking about the Pixel 7 and whether you should wait or go for the 6a instead or, or pick this one, but stay tuned for that one. Now, one thing that I find hilarious on tech reviews about smartphones is that no one ever, including myself, talks about core quality. So come with me and my dog, Chalky. Yeah, I'm watching the rise and I wouldn't say I'm shocked because I'm hardly surprised. This one's for the ride. So here we are in the middle of nowhere in England, trying to review a smartphone and wait for it. I'm gonna make a phone call. This is the S22 Ultra. We're gonna try and call my friend Patrick in, in Belgium. We're just gonna be using Telegram. So which review are you doing? Uh, this is the S22 Ultra versus Pixel 6 Pro. Yeah, it's crisp. Nice. Yeah, you sound pretty, pretty good as well. All right, so this is my mate. He's a music producer. Johnny, how are you? Okay? Yeah, good, thank you. How are you? Awesome, thank you, mate. And it seems very stereo kind of sound uh, when you talk. Okay. So it's not really clear, actually. Yeah. Do you want to talk to me a little bit about your latest song? Have you released it yet? Yeah, I'll send, I'll send a link to you for you to, to have a listen. And a You're not going to claim copyright on my on my videos, are you? <laughs> of course not. You're going to feature Rihanna on the song, yeah? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I thought that was actually louder and clearer than the Pixel 6 Pro, so impressive results here, but let me know what you thought. Wow. 
definitely just been out and changed shirts and stuff. Yeah, totally. No expenses spared here. You know, we did drone shots, multiple angles, you name it, all for you. And all I ask in return, if you like my stuff anyway, is for you to hit the subscribe button. I'm here with new videos weekly, and there's a ton of videos already in the channel that you can enjoy here at your own leisure. Sticking with the fun aspect, right, we gotta mention the cameras. Now, rather than tell you megapixels and frames per second, let's just look at some shots. I really think the Samsung is just much better here. And that is obviously because of that better hardware, but the Pixel 6 Pro definitely punches above its weight here. Now for the price, you're getting amazing results. It delivers incredible photographs in every condition. When it comes to video, however, the Pixel just has some work to do in my opinion. I have noticed though that recently after some updates, it has gotten better. And the Pixel updates, similar to the Samsung as well actually, they just take too long for me. And for that reason, it should come as no surprise to you that I think the S22 Ultra is the better device when it comes to the cameras. One thing that you might be worried about on these phones is how exposed the camera module is on both of them. Trust me, I learned this the hard way. So this is a good opportunity for me to bring up today's sponsors, Castify. They sent me a lovely collection of cases here with a discount code for you as well. For the S22 Ultra, they've got these lovely new launches here which feature Castify's trademark protection. I've been using their cases for a long time with different devices as well, so you'll find quite a few videos here on the channel, including drop tests. You know, they offer 6.6 .6 foot drop protection, so that's pretty awesome. Caseify cases for me, you know, they're, they're really grippy and very, very stylish. You know, they're compatible with all wireless chargers out there. As you can see here, no issues charging with a couple of different cases and different chargers, no problem. They have their own design material as well called SheTech, which they've just upgraded and tested to reduce the impact by 95%. You know, that, that's quite a lot of protection you're getting here. You think that with all of that protection, it would be a bulky case, but no, they're very sleek and thin. You know, I can, I'm just holding the Pixel 6 Pro here and, and it's, it's almost like it wasn't there. It's really thin, really kind of not adding a lot to the phone. I love the protection at the front as well with these raised bezels. So you know when you put your phone down, it's not gonna scratch your screen. Despite that raised bezel, you don't lose that swipe ability, right? Especially on the S22 Ultra, when you have this kind of extra trays that you've got here on, on one UI, you can pull out from the side. No issues doing that. And no issues removing the pen or using the pen either. If anything, it makes it better to use the pen because now you've got a lot more grip on the device when you're holding it. With the Pixel, I'll go as far as saying that you could potentially rock it naked and still be okay because it's got a visor at the back that you can use as a, as a kind of a, a support for your hand. But the S22 Ultra is virtually impossible to hold without a case. And don't I know that, right? <laughs> still hurts. I love the Pixel 6 Pro cases they send me as well here. There's so many more cool designs. So this one is like a Japanese style one. Not gonna lie, I love the look of the Pixel 6 Pro without a case, but if I'm going out, the phone is going in the case. There's absolutely no argument there. The protection around the camera is really good on both phones. You get that traditional Castify branding around the camera module, and more importantly, you can put the phone down with the camera module facing down without worrying about scratching the camera module, which on both devices are in their own way fairly exposed. Now, Castify has another trick up their sleeve, which is the customization options. Yes, they offer fantastic protection. That's the main reason why you should get a case. But what I really love about them is how you can pretty much find a style to suit any style. This could be a lovely present, right? Either for, for a loved one or for yourself. There's also the fact that we're going back to normality and summer is nearly here. So you can show off a different style when you go on a holiday or to a festival or whatever. Really cool. And that customization is pretty unique to Castify too. You know, there's not that many cases out there that allow you to, to have so many options to customize. To get yours today, all you need to do is go to castify.com forward slash Alex G and a 15% discount will be automatically applied at checkout. Thanks so much Castify again for sponsoring this video. I just love to work with brands when their product is top quality, you know, and I hope you understand that we content creators have some bills to pay as well and, and it helps the channel you know with every sponsorship that i get all of that money gets reinvested into actually affording to buy these devices and invest back in videos for you talking about bills and working the samsung s22 ultra has something that no other phone has at least i haven't really seen it yet and it's one of the most underrated features on any smartphone this is samsung dex why well, i'm holding the pixel while i'm talking about this one I don't know why I haven't used this feature before on a smartphone, 
but it's fantastic. Basically, it lets you use your device connected to a display, which will give you a full on sort of desktop experience. It's incredible. I could do an entire video on this and showing you how powerful DeX can be, but this video is already getting quite long. So I'll leave a link down below where I show DeX in a lot more detail when I'm reviewing this bad boy here, the Tab S8 Ultra. But what I will say here though is I really appreciate when companies push the boundaries and try to innovate. Apple, take notes. I really wish Android apps would get even better so that we could enjoy these phone features even more because that's becoming the main limitation here for me. iOS apps, by contrast, are developed much quicker, right? So, and I know this because I've worked in the tech industry for, for many years and I've seen firsthand when companies make decisions on which app to develop first and iOS gets a priority nine times out of 10, if not 10 times out of 10. From an audio quality, the speaker's perspective, this is always tricky to test and share with you on a video. There's my recording microphone, there's the environment around here, there's background noise, there's processing, obviously me editing this video, but we're gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna use Spotify, but I made sure that I have the settings the exact same on both devices from a quality perspective. Right, let me know in the comments which one you reckon was better. And while you're down there, comment with the word legend so that I know you've watched this far. Also because if you watch this far, it does make you a legend. Thanks for that. Clearly, these are not my main phones right now. Not yet anyway, I am considering a switch. Consistently, I pick one or the other in the evening instead of my iPhone 13 Pro Max. The iPhone is the one I use at work and kind of during the day for my work calls and emails. But when I'm having fun, especially in the evenings, just browsing the socials and watching content, I go for one of these. And the main reason is because they're just comfortable to use. This the, kind of the aspect ratio helps as well. The fact that you can hold them for longer without you know, kind of hurting your hands. It's, it's a bonus as well. I do love the design on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I, I love the kind of squared off design to look at, it's beautiful, but to hold it for a long time, yeah, it's quite a heavy and, and unwieldy device. If you're coming from an older device or an iPhone 12, for example, then I think you're definitely gonna see a jump coming to the S22 Ultra. The display alone might be enough, right? I really, really want to love this phone as much as I did the S21 Ultra. And despite the amazing cameras and the display and the battery life as well is pretty good, it's just not hitting the mark for me. Another aspect that I think is overlooked in tech reviews is the artificial intelligence aspect. And before you roll your eyes about the AI, I'd rather we didn't have to hold the device at all. You know, it's this kind of rectangular shape. But since that's the form factor we seem to be stuck with, we may as well have some features that may be useful. And the Pixel 6 Pro for me is the GOAT when it comes to really being an assistant. The S22 Ultra has similar features and Bixby is getting better, but I'd still put Bixby and Siri in the same box, in a corner far away from me. <laughs> um, I'm quite lucky to be able to try these different smartphones and I'm sure I'll be trying some different ones as well. But if I was forced to choose one Android device right now to spend the rest of the year with, I would go with the Pixel 6 Pro. Sorry Samsung, but you are letting me down on this one. I always try to be as unbiased as possible. I love tech in general, and I hope that comes through in the video. I have some great pixel videos that I've done for you over here, and my S22 Ultra videos can be found on this playlist over here. I'll see you soon.